Hi folks, I just thought I'd uh, show a quick video of this uh, new beast that I have here, Total Carnage. It, uh, if you recognize the case, it used to be a Coleco Total Control football. And um, I was looking around, I've been wanting to do this for a long time, that is, have a dual screen kind of dual player with dual joysticks each. And I'm trying to find a case that would do that and, um, and came across the Total uh, the total control of football, and I go, hey, that's perfect. Um, this what happens that the, the case is actually quite big. I mean, compared to my hand, it's actually quite huge, uh, but it just has enough space that I could fit everything in there that I wanted to, That uh, such as the, tool, the dual screen, all the controls, the wires as well. The wires take up a crazy amount of space, the battery and everything else, and it fit just barely in this guy. So, you've seen pictures, but um, not a video yet, so I'm going to just turn it on. So you have your player one there. So you're basically playing like that, so you don't really necessarily see the opposite screen. And of course, it's exactly the same on this side with player two. And I kind of put a... Uh, a sheet of smoked glass on it so it has a little nice sheen it looks great even when it's off um, typical um, retro pie I will find where is that game there it is don't have a picture for it yet so yeah I've actually had this uh, tested out and it works very very well um, what I do for my controls is I don't have a uh, a controller for it. I just use the GPIO of the Raspberry Pi and it I just had enough. I had enough inputs for uh, four joysticks and eight buttons. Well actually ten buttons because when you include the start and stop which is right there, not start and stop, uh, select and start, every single every single input on that Raspberry Pi is taken up and I was worried that I wasn't able to, if the program I was using wasn't able to, you know, have every single input going at one time because, you know, you could basically have, let's see, two, four, six, eight, eight simultaneous button presses at the same time. You know, one player one is moving up, player two is moving down to the side, and you can have up to eight inputs going on at one time, and it actually does it very, very well. Like, there's, it works perfectly, actually. I was actually testing this with... Uh, with somebody so basically now I still have to work on the buttons <clears throat> Let's see if I got this right this one is yeah I got to do some more programming here get past this person now I can start another game here there's the other guy so the other guy's playing this guy this side and then there you are. And there's a bunch of games this would work perfectly on, like Total Carnage. Let me just turn that volume down. Total Carnage works great. Smash TV works great. Um, Mario Brothers. Uh, you name it. Any screen, any game that you can play cooperative using the same screen, this is perfect for it. So there it is. So basically it's a Pi 3 in there. Um, lithium battery. I chose a different uh, power supply for this thing because this thing takes up quite a lot of current. Um, the regular 1000C just didn't do the trick, so I found this other one. I forgot the name of it, but basically it, it can support. It puts out like two amps, which is perfect for this, and the battery actually lasts quite long. Uh, so you have your charger port there, and you have USB right there I have a keyboard attached to it right now there are the two buttons that you would uh, start and stop <clears throat> so there we have it I think I'll make another one now I made this one just for myself um, but I can make another one I suppose maybe I'll make it uh, make another smash TV make it my make my third smash TV the first smash TV was a Coleco in a regular Coleco housing the second one was in an old Defender Entex Defender now Perhaps I'll make another one here, but uh, it's a lot of work, a lot of wires, um, and these screens, I just, I had these screens, they're just the regular composite screens, that's the only screen that would actually work, because 
the um, it would I just basically just soldered them both together with the same input. You couldn't do that with an HDMI, at least I don't think. So these screens were sitting in my closet up on the top shelf. I go, I gotta find a use for those, and I did. And because the screen is on an angle, you don't get that horrible kind of well, up on the side you can see, but when it's straight on, the contrast actually is quite quite nice. And yeah, so well thanks for all the great comments you gave me. That this you know, all the nice comments just encourages me to make more stuff. So uh, keep keep them coming and um, thanks for watching.